If you're watching this, you're either crazy or you just like watching crazy people. Viewer discretion advised. What's going on, guys? We are in the heat of the summer and in the full, we are in the full swing of doing all kinds of stuff. Now, my garden, I mean, I got stuff growing. I'm not, it's not a total loss, but. I'm going to have to really double down on fall gardening this year because my summer garden, I got planted late because we went on vacation. Uh, I had a health problem and had to go to the hospital, all the things. And then we went on another vacation. So it's just been one thing after another. And I had to have people here. Uh, I had a guy here uh, taking care of my animals and stuff, but my garden kind of got away and it just, I just did not, I wasn't able to be here enough to take care of it properly. So I'm really going to have to double down on that fall. All right. But I am getting super stoked about deer season coming up. I don't know why. Uh, I feel like, hey, this might be a good year. Might be a good election year. Who knows? You know, you got to overcome the obstacles. You know what I'm talking about. Might be a good year. I hope so. 2016 was a good year, just saying. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, but I'm getting super stoked uh, going back to Wisconsin this year. Uh, this this year, I did not get back in my hunting lease. I, I was in a hunting lease for two years. Uh, <clears throat> the two years I was there, I only killed one deer. I did see a few deer, but I didn't see a lot of quality deer. And to be honest with you, with the out-of-town hunts that I go on, it was really just a little bit much for me to have another separate property uh, in addition to all I'm doing anyway. So I just, I elected for this year just to opt out. I don't know. I may go back next year. I don't know if they have an opening, maybe. I don't know. But <clears throat> what am I doing today? Y'all stay tuned, okay? We got, we're, we're getting ready for deer season. So if you saw my previous video, uh, you saw where I went and I bought a disc. I've been needing a disc for a long time, uh, but I have a small tractor, so I, was, so I did not want to buy a new disc. I don't need it. I only use it for the deer, okay? And I may, I may would scrape over the garden with it. I don't know. But I had to have a four-foot disc because of my mini little tractor. And I was looking and looking and looking, and COVID was crazy. You know, coming off the tail end of COVID, it was just crazy. The marketplace is going crazy. Everything's crazy. Prices are double what they were, so I've just, I'm just going to wait. And I have too many rocks here to have a rototiller. It just, it would be, it'd bang it to death. I just, I get, but a disc would just, I think would be okay. So I found a disc. If you didn't see that video, go back and watch that video. It's not titled about the disc though. Uh, I met this guy, the guy that I bought the disc from, his name was Jeff. Uh, super awesome dude. He showed me his house. His house is very interesting. He's got some cool stories. You need to go back and check it out. Uh, the government actually, uh, before, way before he was born, okay. But his house was actually raided by the government, Union troops, by the way. So go check that out. Uh, so I got this disc and I only paid $350 for it. That was a super deal. I mean, it's probably worth probably double that. But you know, hey, I, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I did not try to talk him down a bit. He said three fifty. I paid three fifty and come on back with it. So, but it does need to be greased. Uh, maintenance is very important for all your equipment. I don't care what kind of equipment you have. Maintenance. If you don't take care of it, it's not going to take care of you. So I'm going to show you this disc and I'm going to show you the fittings on it just in case you ever decide to get a disc. This is how you maintain it. My chickens think I'm gonna feed them extra. I just feed them enough to keep them around and lay, lay some eggs for me, that's all I do. Um, and they do that. So, this is what I bought. It's a four foot disc and it's pretty heavily built. Even though it's not tube and it's angle iron, it's pretty heavily built. Uh, this thing will last me a long, long time. So I'm gonna take the tractor, I'm gonna pick it up and then I'm gonna come back to you if these chickens will let me talk. I just had to give them some feed so they'd be quiet and leave me alone so I could talk. 
Okay, so I took the tractor and I lifted it up off the ground. And that way I can get to it and I don't have to bend over and try to try to see uh, what I'm doing. Now look, see these, this right here, see? This bearing, I spun it. <clears throat> Maybe I can't spin it. I'll have to take a... But anyway, see if I can turn it. I spun them the other day, the other day, or yesterday I spun it. I may have to take something, but see this grease fitting? See this grease fitting right here, right here, and there's more. So these bearings have to be greased. If you don't grease these bearings, they ain't gonna spin right. And you probably tear the bearing up, and then you're gonna be in a mess. So, see it? See how it's turning right there? See, it's hard to turn. But I put some grease on it. I put a wrench on it. Get it kind of lubed up a little bit. It's going to turn. So, I'm putting the grease gun. I have the old hand pump kind. I don't have... Look, it's not... There it goes. I don't have the kind that is either uh, electric or pneumatic. I don't have that. I've got the old hand pump kind, which has served me well. I've had it a long, long time. I uh, greased one section. This has got four sections. Greased one section. For lack of better words, I'm calling it a section. If you know exactly what, see like it's got one section of three, three discs right here. I don't really know what that's called. If you know what that's called, leave a comment. I just can't remember. But anyway, I've gotten this one right here, I've got it greased. And I'm gonna take this wrench and I'm gonna put on it and turn it, break it free real good and get that grease to go around the bearing and probably free it up pretty good. Let's, let's just find out. Just gonna get on this nut. Just gonna go back and forth. Oh man, it's really working now. It's freeing up a lot. It's got a little hard spot in it, but that'll work itself out. Yeah, see, it's, it's, it's getting free now. Look at that. Look, look how easy that is to spin. So now I'm spinning it with my hand. Well, I couldn't hardly spin it with my hand before. Now look at that. I can spin it with my hand. Look at that. It just needed some grease, y'all. Hey, this is a real testament to maintenance because if if you take care of your stuff, man, when you need it the most, it's gonna work. All right, so I gotta get the other three sections. See, this one, this one I can't break, but with my hand anyway. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna grease them up and then I'm gonna come back to you. Okay, I got them all greased and look at this. Look at that. That was not quite as easy, but it's, it's, it's freeing up pretty good. Look at that. Now I did find out why I couldn't hardly turn these. <clears throat> these are free. <clears throat> this is the fork of the tractor right there where I got it held up and the disc was actually hitting that fork and it was preventing it from turning good. Now I did spin it, but it was hitting, it was hitting. So, that's why it was so hard to turn. It was just hanging up on the fork. Take care of your stuff, people. Take care of your stuff because it, hey, deer season's coming. And no matter what kind of, even if you don't have stuff like this, just take care of your stuff because you don't want it to break down when you need it the most. Uh, that's going to be it. I, that's a wrap for today. We're going to wrap this up. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. God bless.